What's going on, folks? Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and our good friends over at WizKids sent us an entire brick of the Bigby's Glory of the Giants random booster box sets. So we're going to go ahead and open these up. I haven't really looked too much into these miniatures, but uh, we've taken a look at the limited edition box as well as the premium box. So we're just going to go ahead and start opening them and see what we're able to get. So again, thank you to the, for my friends over at WizKids for sending these over for review purposes. Hopefully, we get some nice pulls out of this box. Okay. Well, we got one of my favorites from the new set right here off the bat. Now, annoyingly, they did start... You can't see it. I'll bring it into the, the far cam here, or my normal cam. They did start putting back the twist ties in the plastic, which just adds another level of time-consumingness to opening these miniatures, which is unfortunate when you're filming content. But... All right, we have the Fire Gaunt. Now, I got to tell you, I think the art for the official miniature looks a little bit cooler than what we're getting here in the actual mini. However, like we're sort of seeing with the larger style minis, we're seeing with, again, Big B's here, a ton of detail in the various like poking throughs of the molten lava in the arms, the cragginess and the chain parts of the armor down there. Again, we zoom it back out. We can see runes on the hammer, right? You can see those. Again, here's again more of the chain. Let's get that more in focus here. Bring that in so you can see it. Again, chain. You can see the threads and fibers in the rope. Again, even the little interest. There's kind of like filigree on this sort of like halo that we see up here. Again, and the face has a ton of detail. So, the Fire Gaunt. All right, now as per usual, these come with one huge, large, or in this case, huge size miniature and three small size miniatures. So we just have, uh, well, we, we're gonna lose some quality on the size of this one. We have a bugbear here. So let's go ahead and bring it in real close and you can see she's got some buck teeth. <laughs> I just, I mean, what's going on here? This is comparatively, like, you can't really make out too much more of the face, but you can make out those, well, they're supposed to, I think, be tusks, but very much look like buck teeth. And we can see kind of some splotchiness here on the arms or paint there. Uh, we got like a blue sort of tunic here. And then obviously, don't worry about the bent spear. That just happens. A heat gun, some hot water. You can go ahead and make the adjustments to fix that. All right. Next up in our series of small miniatures for this. Okay, this one's pretty cool. This is a furball. Furbog Primeval Warden. This one's pretty cool. As you know, if you know you're a fan of this channel, I am a sucker for translucent magical effects. We've obviously got a translucent fire shield here. Does kind of look a little bit like a clown, though, with the red hair and the red nose, the rosy nosy we got going on over there. But you definitely can see a lot of detail in the sort of um, hide patch. And then again, obviously, the sort of winter cloak we've got going on here definitely a pretty cool standout miniature to drop on the table for sure and our last miniature oh crap where'd that one go this is a very little one we have a giant badger here so the badger actually has a decent amount of detail for what it is um Move this more towards the center so you can get a better look at it. But, well, yeah, not too upset about the giant badger. So, all right. That is box one down. Let us move on to box number two. All right. What do we have? There's no guarantee you won't get duplicates as well. Um, all right. So this, this particular miniature is not held in with any kind of twist tie. This is the Frostmourne. Now, I believe we did see a Frostmourne in the limited edition set. This one does appear to have more texture. And I think more texture here in this sort of translucent 
uh, kind of ice effect of this skirt does appear to have, I think you can make that out, there's more texture there, especially here on the front. Uh, I don't believe that was there on the limited edition one that we had, but either way, a lot of detail. We already covered this in the limited edition box set, so we'll move on. We have a Shrieker, which is just, you know, one of the fungus uh, from the, I think that's from the monster manual. But either way, a lot of detail for just a mushroom. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a Shrieker mini before, so that's pretty cool. All right, that would be one I wouldn't actually be too upset if I got multiples of. All right, next up we have a giant poisonous snake. Again, animal minis are sometimes the most overrated ones or underrated ones to have because these are can be for things that have familiars, animal companions, summons, wild shape transformations. A lot of detail on this poisonous snake with all the individual scales. And I like that it's kind of curled up in a striking pose. Pretty cool. And our last one. That's a pretty big win for me, honestly, this one here. And then we have a hobgoblin. Ignore, again, his sort of very crooked sword here. But a lot, a fair amount of detail here on this hobgoblin. We can even make out his kind of like mutton chops he's got going on here. I'm really kind of digging the purple and red armor. It's an interesting take. We can see the kind of individual plates, the lines on the hair. Again, uh, a generic kind of mini. Uh, but we actually have some pretty good ones. A bugbear and a hobgoblin, those will go a long way in any D&D &D, you know, DM's arsenal for sure. So kudos to Bigby's Glory of the Giants. All right. Got uh, up. Oh, this is one. Well, we got to get his arm. Well, this one happens to be tied in. This is another one that we got in the collector's edition box set which is the uh, Fire Hellion, which we've already seen once before, so we won't belabor this one too much. But as you can see, it does come with its arm not attached, so we will go ahead and pull out its arm that kind of has a big torch. We'll go ahead and attach that arm here, like so. And then again, nothing too crazy, although you can see the detail in sort of the armor but this is, again, one that we had received in the Collector's Edition, Limited Edition set that we had covered a while back, about a month ago, uh, that we'd gotten a little before Gen Con. So a very cool miniature nonetheless, but let's talk about some potentially new ones here. All right, up here we have a Sky, Sky Tower Goliath. All right, this is just basically, looks almost like a cold weather, I mean, really, it could be any race, but it's a, it's a Goliath, so it's a little bit larger than your, your standard sort of medium-sized creature, but it's basically just a snow, not a lot of, like, facial detail here, right, because it's all covered in furs and cold weather gear, but just basically some sort of upright warrior with a big hammer. All right. Next up, we have Elf Druid Circle of the Primeval. We've talked about this. I've talked about this quite a bit, that this is an upsetting miniature to me because it is, again, one of those ones where art existed for it before uh, the, and the and art existed and the miniature was made. Again, it's got a little bit of a lean to it. It's a cool, unique miniature. These kind of have some smooth criminal lean going on here, although in the reverse... Uh, you know, backwards, but either way, um, it's a cool miniature, but it's just a little bit of a bummer to me that it's a miniature for a subclass that did not end up making it in the book. All right, and then here we have a orc, just a flat out. <laughs> this has got some bug eyes, as I think you can even see there, but so this is just an orc. Again, lots of fur details. Got the big old tusks. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but those are some bug eyes. They're like real... I think you can kind of see them there where they're kind of like really... <laughs> the paint job's not the, the, the most ideal. 
on the eyes for this particular orc. But, you know, as I've said before, and I'll use this as an opportunity to re-educate, for those of you who didn't know, WizKids miniatures are actually all individually hand-painted. They, uh, they have like a, you know, sort of a protocol, if you will, that the, the painters are supposed to follow, but they are all hand-painted. So a miniature that I receive might look a little bit different than a miniature that you receive, and that's because of the nature of it being hand-painted. All right, we got another sort of... I think this is one of the Cloud Giant Undead miniatures. This is Spectral Cloud, it's called. This is actually... This one's really cool. Oh, yeah. This is a winner. This might be my favorite of the set so far. Take a look at this. Tell me that isn't just awesome. I mean, look at the detail. Look at this. You've got all of these, like... Clouds and skulls mixed together. I mean, you've got like the limbs are sort of very, you know, very spectral. We can see again, here's the back. This is a really cool, it's got the translucent. The face is awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. This is a really cool mini. I'm a big fan of this one. Like I said, this, as it stands right now, Spectral Cloud is currently the winner for me. Uh, for the coolest miniature in the set. All right, here is a <laughs> very happy-looking Furbog Wanderer here. Let's go ahead and bring it down. You got a good look. That is one heck of a smile on that Furbog. Um, but honestly, you know, you could tell me this was basically almost any character of any race. They do have, like, as you can see, some tattooed runes. On the arm there, but for the most part, again, this could have been a fur ball. It could have been anything else, but all right. I think the other fur ball that we got is obviously very cool. Maybe we get another bugbear, maybe. Yep, this I don't love the armor, but I think the facial expression much more menacing on this bugbear. It is kind of a pooped brown armor here, in my opinion. But either way, we do have a cool, you know, great axe wielding bugbear. Um, yeah, it just looks like it's wearing poop brown armor, that's all. Either way, again, not bad to have so many sort of kind of generic monsters that usually get thrown out in a large degree, right? All right we have a Goliath monk. This one's actually pretty cool. Digging the, the look of this one. We've got our Goliath monk here. And all the various Goliath tattoos. Very neat. And they kind of just went for just like a whited out eye. I really like that. All right, that was the first half of the brick down. We are moving on to the latter half. Okay. Well, this is a, a fan favorite here, this particular one. This is the Maw of Yinagu. I have to zoom it back out for this one. This is one of the ones where like a hill giant kind of starts to worship Yinagu, and it kind of transforms them into some sort of demonic creature, and they sort of just run along the ground with their mouth open and just eat whatever's in the way. It's terrifying and gross, but it's very cool. Although I can see a decent amount of pink, as I'm sure you can see, kind of shining through in the hair, which uh, I don't think was supposed to happen, but either way, a very cool miniature. A lot of good facial expressions on that one, too. All right, we have next another orc, different design. A little bit better facial expression on this one. Also very cool armor and axe. Let's back out a little bit. Get a better look at him. Very cool. Again, lots of, you know, uh, kind of standard monsters, I would call them. This is a Goliath Trickster. And we can see we've got sort of like a mask. We've got an axe there. Again. A, just a very cool miniature all around. And our last one looks like we've got another bugbear. This time, 
in a different pose. Again, yeah, we're getting a lot of variety in the bugbears and the different creatures here. This one actually is probably my favorite of all. It's got the big kind of spiked club. It's got the shoulder armor, the hair. You can see the fur looks really well done here. Uh, and the facial expression looks definitely like very evil and menacing. Digging that bugbear. All right. Next box. Okay, this one. Oh, we got another. I'm very, you know, it's, it's okay. I don't mind getting duplicates on the smaller miniatures, but duplicates on the large miniatures is always kind of a bummer. Unless you're going for a very specific like, campaign design. I also realize I probably just jinxed myself, but we have a... Oh my God, the detail on these giant miniatures is just blowing me away here. Frost Giant Ice Shaper. I mean, look at look at the face. Look at this. Look at the detail, right? Like, look at how well that's done. Again, like I said, this is the benefit of it being a slightly larger miniature, but look at the intricacies of all of the different aspects of the armor, on the arms here, again, the back, we can see the different fur patterns. I don't have to go down so you can see the, um, the ax also has some really cool detail to it. Yeah, they're really knocking it out of the park with these larger giant size miniatures. Okay, we are, well, you know, I did say I was gonna jinx myself, but only so far in the small ones, but we did get my favorite bugbear, back to back, the club wielding bugbear. All right, next up we have, okay, we have another hobgoblin. This one doesn't really give me as much hobgoblin vibes as the other one does. The widow's peak is kind of weird. The facial expression's a little bit off, but this is kind of a hobgoblin archer. I prefer the other hobgoblin that we got before though. And uh, again, speak of the devil when it comes to duplicates, another giant poisonous snake, but I will not complain about that because I feel like multiples of animal miniatures just make sense to me. All right. Well, we're on a roll with not getting duplicate of the giant miniatures. This is the stone giant of evil earth again. One that we received in the Big B's Limited Edition set, so I won't really go into too much detail here. But it's very cool. Also, we did cover the monsters of A through F from Big B's Glory of the Giants in one video. I will be getting back to finish the monsters of G through Z in a future video. So be on the lookout for that if you want to see what's going on there. Again, I covered this one pretty in-depth uh, in the Limited Edition box set. Kind of a little bit of a bummer that everything we got in the limited edition box set we also got in uh we also got here, but that's okay. Uh all right, we got an editor cap. All right, the uh I really actually am kind of digging this one's very purple, this editor cap. But I really kind of like the facial expressions a little bit different. It's kind of very pronounced. The mouth is very like far forward, I guess. I don't know. Edder Cap's also a very useful monster to throw at your players, especially if you want to do like the low level spider encounter. Edder Caps are a good kind of spider attendant, which is pretty neat. All right, next up we have this is one of the bugs. What is this? The giant tick. It is. If you're familiar with ticks in the real world, it is just a big old bloated version of a real world tick. Somebody that lives in New York and then now being the fall, I'm all too familiar. Take these off your dogs all the time. All right, and then last up in this particular one, we have, oh, this is what I wanted to get. The bag jelly. I like it. It's cute. It's a little ooze coming out of a bag of coins. Now, we're on to the last box. And the only miniature that I actually really wanted to get out of this set was the Dilophosaurus. And looking around at just what's on the box, we missed a couple. We missed the Hill Giant Avalancher, the Giant Lynx, the Goliath Frost Rager, uh, the Barrow Ghast, Big B himself, the Fury of the Frost Giant Tiefling, 
the Dilophosaurus, and the Fire Rune Goliath. That's just what we missed. It's on the box itself. Dilophosaurus is my real, that's like my, my ace that I'd like to pull, but uh, we'll have to see what we get. Uh, and I don't know if I've got one, but we'll see. All right, we got another unique large miniature. So that was definitely a win in my opinion. All eight boxes, each one had a different huge size miniature in it. So, oh, this one's really cool. This is the Cloud Giant of Evil Air. Again, the detail on these guys, really I'm just blown away. This is another one with like, it's a very like hyper-realistic face. Kind of irks me like a little bit. It's a little kind of like scary looking into your soul. Like you can even see like the facial hair is done so well, the arm hair and stuff here, right? But what I really like is the sort of bloodied feathers that are on the back here. Look at that. That's pretty neat. We can see he's got the the kind of the um, air boomerang, storm boomerang, but the bloodied feathers down the back are just a really cool design. And I I think these cloud giants are really kind of giving me like, um, the cloud giant and the death giant give me kind of like Nosferatu vibes. But yeah, look at the detail, man. This is just really cool. All right, let's go ahead. Well, that, again. General wins. I don't use giants all the time. Like, I don't use giants a lot in my games, but now I have a reason to because I have all these minis. Okay. We've got in this particular bag another orc. Um, this one actually looks like it has the exact same face as the Edder Cap, in my opinion. Here, we'll get this to focus in. Right here, where's that Edder Cap? Kind of look like it has the same face as the Edder Cap. And doesn't that Edder Cap almost look like it has like a pig nose? Maybe I'm just, that's just me. I don't know. But either way, um, just a different orc, non weapon wielding, kind of roaring, maybe raging orc. Cool. <gasps> oh, yeah. Boom, baby. There we go. The king of all pulls, what I wanted more than anything. Teeth got a little bit of a gap in it, but either way, the Dilophosaurus miniature. This thing is beautiful. I love this. As a fan of paleontology, as well as a fan of Jurassic Park, I absolutely adore this miniature. I can... I'm good. Like, this was... Regardless of whatever, there's only one thing left, but regardless... This is a fantastic set. We got another giant badger. I mean, I'm very curious. Like, look at the like, this thing is just massive. This Dilophosaurus, which is a little bit potentially larger than it should be, but either way, um, at least you know. Well, I guess it depends. If they're going for paleontologically accurate, you know, it can be a little bit larger, but but then it has a frill, so who knows. Anyway, folks, that is my unboxing of a brick of eight random uh, Bigby's Glory of the Giants WizKids miniatures. A huge shout out and once again, a thank you to the team over at WizKids for sending this in uh, for me to review. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up on Amazon uh, and I will drop an Amazon affiliate link to the Bigby's Glory of the Giant bricks if you would like to pick one up for yourself. Uh, again, you can usually get these from your friendly local game store. Uh, it looks like a count of eight will run you about, at least according to Amazon, about $100, $99. Although it's list showing the list price as $200 and that it's 50% off. I think that's just an artificial markup. Uh, but yeah, the individual box uh, boosters look like they're, man, is this just inflation? And I haven't, I haven't known, but it looks like an individual booster is $19 and the booster brick of eight is $100. Again, uh, if you go to Amazon and you pick it up via the link that I'll be posting in the video description, uh, it will benefit me slightly monetarily if you do pick it up via that. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this set. There's definitely a lot of cool ones. Obviously, the larger the miniature, the more detail you can bake into it. Um, I definitely got some ones that I'm really excited to have. Like I said, a little bit of a bummer that we got uh, three of the uh, duplicates to the ones that we got in 
uh, the limited edition box set. But either way, still cool to have. So anyway, let me know again your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And I'll see you all next time.